Coming to new so Power Rangers Zio. What the heck? We know who the Ranger is? Who is this? Who the hell is this? We don't know him. We will prepare to receive him right away. I hope he makes it. Me too, Tommy. And by the way, today is the day that Tommy's birthday, or it was yesterday, September 4th. I'm filming this September 5th. Yesterday was Tommy's birthday. I just want to say a, a late happy birthday to my boy Tommy. RIP. RIP to the RIP to everybody that was affected by his death. Ranger family. Let's just take a quick moment of silence for Tommy, bro. I get it, like you guys are seeing this mad late. Like this is probably like what in November, but or whatever this drops, but I just wanna say like a few prayers or a moment of silence to one of the greatest my childhood hero, Tommy Oliver. Thank you for those who joined me in that moment of silence. Rest in power, Tommy. Yo, Tommy makes the best noises. Pause. Man, what is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of a TV movie podcast. And today I got for you Power Rangers Zio, episode 32. This episode's called Revelations of Goals. Let's get to it. Creeps right now, man. I thought they were checking out the girl in the blue shorts. Because I was. What the fuck going on? You know, why is it right there, though? Wouldn't you be like, oh shit, there's an airplane right in front of me? I feel like this is how they should know it's not Billy. You think they wouldn't know Billy would. would Billy, Billy would be in a freaking. you know, a space. ship right now? Why did that take me so long to say? Damn, nigga. What's he up to, dog? You just be, you just be causing chaos. You just be living in his own world, man. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on with this guy. Like, who are you, bro? Tell us who you are, bro. Talking about if I tell you, I will lose my powers. What does that even mean? Oh, they're wearing their normal fits now. This is like the first time the first time they've worn that outfit since like the Mighty Morphin days, bro. Your family, dude. Okay, bro. You know it's so weird. How come Rita never like try to find them? I think she was just so mad at them for like fuck messing up, messing up, destroying the Power Rangers because they they basically like lost like the detonator thing. That was gonna destroy the command center, and then they blew themselves up. And I think she got so mad at them for doing that that she had, she she doesn't even want to look for them. <laughs> what the heck? We know who the ranger is. Who is this? That looks like a black-haired version of Billy. What's going on, bro? I thought the gold ranger was Jason. The thing is, wouldn't the gold ranger be someone that they know, right? And they mentioned that in the last episode. So who the hell is this? We don't know him. Man, I saw his ship crash. Well then, we must make sure he never gets there. <laughs> yes, Highness, I, I love evil banter. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy the Rangers. <laughs> but it never happened. <laughs> we will prepare to receive him right away. I hope he makes it. Me too, Tommy. And by the way, today is the day that Tommy's birthday, or it was yesterday, September 4th. I'm filming this September 5th. Yesterday was Tommy's birthday. I just want to say a, a late happy birthday to my boy Tommy. RIP. RIP to the RIP to everybody that was affected by his death. Ranger family. Let's just take a quick moment of silence for Tommy, bro. I get it, like you guys are seeing this mad late. Like this is probably like what in November, but or whatever this drops, but I just wanna say like a few prayers or uh, Moment of silence to one of the greatest, my childhood hero, Tommy Oliver.
Thank you for those who joined me in that moment of silence. Rest in power with Tommy. Jason David Frank. What uh, folks call Myrtle Beach. The Myrtle beach. beach. Why? Never been. Well, they can tell you the Sounds pretty really white. Damn, that water looks mad dirty, bro. Is that Myrtle Beach? <laughs> I'll usually laugh at my jokes, but come on, that was a good call, man. Damn, bro. Imagine filming this and you had to just go inside all this water and the waves. Like, that just kind of had to suck because you just you just see your street clothes. Damn. Out of boy Tommy. I would have liked the Gold Ranger to be Tommy's brother somehow. If they could have, like, connected, like, the part of the necklace that and, and somehow made that in a way that it somehow gave him the gold ranger powers I'm talking about tommy's brother because they made it like such a big deal that they the, the, the necklace in that one episode where he found out it was his brother like that necklace was a huge deal and like i thought it would have meant something like it could have given, given him powers but i guess not Yo, how the fuck is Rocky not wet? You, you see him? He's, his hair was completely dry. He, he's looking around like, yo, why are y'all wet? <laughs> I am Trey of Courage. I am Trey of Wisdom. And I am Trey of Hope. Yo, imagine having triplets. There's three of you. That would confuse the parents so much. Race of Each with three distinct personalities. Normally join as one. Three personalities and one. That's kind of biblical. But it's, I think it's about pyramids more so bi yes. biblical. Find a worthy beneficiary, or the powers will be lost forever. Hey, we have just the man for the job. Who? Don't we, guys? You're talking about Billy? I think they are talking about Billy. I think Billy's not gonna accept it, though. I wish he would have, bro. As much as I love Jason, he's cool. But I either wanted Tommy's brother to have the powers or Billy. But I get it. Jason was a popular ranger. Bring him back to gain more views or whatever. But I just feel like this, they should have focused more on the storyline when it comes to Power Rangers and less about like getting people from the past back, you know? Unless it made sense, like built it in into the storyline. Cause like having Tommy's brother as a Power Ranger could have set up so many like Power Rangers in the future where it's all linked to people from the past being related. Like I, I saw a post about um, Hunter Dino from Cosmic Fury, her actress that she plays as the Red Ranger. If she was related to Jason, that would have been a cool thing instead of her just being related to these random aliens. Like she was, she could have been like related to Jason, the first Red Ranger, and she becomes the first female Red Ranger. That link would have been crazy, you know, for the for the whole franchise. But. It's still cool she's a first female ranger, but I thought it would have been even cooler if they made it make more sense into the story. Because Power Ranger has a long history. I feel like they don't utilize that history enough. They just they just let random things happen and not and not have any like, you know, full circle moments where it all connects in a, you know, more cohesive way. It's just kind of like why even have this long franchise if you're not gonna utilize the history behind it? Oh, shit, I'm about to spill my coffee. <laughs> the noises they be making be funny. I get it. You don't have your gold ranger powers, but you can't help at least. You're just standing there. I can't morph. I can't fight. Bro, he's just dodging their attacks. Holy shit. He's not even fighting. This guy's kind of useless. I see why they needed a new actor. It's like, who the hell is this guy? We need somebody better. Even his stunt devil sucks. <laughs> Yo, Tommy makes the best noises. Pause. But when I was a kid, I used to always imitate him. This is literally gold. Hey, yo, he's gonna be the ranger. It rejected him. No way he becomes a gold ranger, bro. They say. Oh shit, he back. 
Oh, bro, I was just talking about how they weren't looking for him. Did she just, did we call Rita Mama? Did you transfer powers already? Do you remember when the command center blew up? Hmm? Well, when that happened, I absorbed an extremely high dosage of negative proton molecules, which resists the gold power. It's sort of like when you put two magnets against each other. Damn, that sucks. Look, uh, guys. Damn, bro. They do this character dirty, bro. I wonder what the reasoning was like. Is it just for the story or he just, they just didn't want him to have, be a Power Ranger. They just wanted him to be the tech guy. Alright guys, thank you for listening and watching. I'm going to see you in the next episode. Bless up and peace.